happy? Love oh, it. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Just like that and save that. Beautiful. Really fantastic. Let's um, let's just do another one for safety's sake. But I mean, really, that was it. Okay. Um, let me just explain a couple of things here. Uh, since this is a Ridley Scott film, we've never done one without a waltz in it. Um, the Gary Oldman character in this one listens in one scene to uh, the Blue Danube, and bad things happen to him. And, and you know how that is when something really bad happens to you, you might never ever forget that moment and try to get back to it. So we're using the Blue Danube in a sort of a straight form, and then it starts getting more and more sort of perverted as the movie progresses. So the musicians are are so so more educated or their education starts so 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 far more earlier than any other job i mean you know a doctor goes to university for i don't know how many years or a lawyer these guys started learning their craft when they were three three or four whatever you know i mean they've been doing this all their life i mean the level of com competence the level of just sheer learning that's in that room out there is incredible One of the things I love about music is, is it's this non-political, non-racist thing, really. And it's either you play well and you move me and you move my soul, or you don't. And that's the only requirement here, you know? And you can be as cantankerous and as difficult and whatever, and you can still play in my band because you play beautifully. It's such a beautiful piece. It really is. I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat or a Communist or a Christian or a Jew or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just play and play, play from the heart. And, and that's the only requirement. And that, that is sort of a great thing in music. I'm just glad the little children have gone shopping. Every once in a while you wonder, is it all worth it? Is it worth it, th th this job, you know, staying up all night for, for weeks on end, you know, um, disappointing your family, not being home for weekends and stuff like this. And there was a moment, you know, after Ridley came back from Florence and we were all in the cutting room and it's 11 o'clock at night and we're all standing there shouting at each other passionately about what one shot means where tears gliding down her cheek, you know, is this a tear of anguish, is it a tear of loneliness, is it a tear of disgust, what is it? And three grown men, Pietro, Ridley and myself, being passionate about one tear, and you suddenly go, hang on, this is the greatest job on earth. Yeah. Very nice. But you know, didn't quite so, sound like world domination yet. I think we can do one more.